Yo, peace and love, everybody. This is AI News with AI Eric. And today we are talking about something I think is important. And it's something that I never hear others talk about. The title of this is Mad Scientists Are Geniuses. The CEO Shaping the Future of Artificial Intelligence with AI Eric. So the definition of a mad scientist is a popular character archetype typically portrayed as an eccentric, highly intelligent, and ambitious scientist who pursues scientific experiments or innovations without the regard for the ethical or moral consequences. They are often depicted as being obsessed with their work. Ah, oh, shit, I'm obsessed with minds. Am I a mad scientist? Pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge to the extreme, sometimes at the cost of their own insanity and disregarding the potential harm their discoveries might cause. So that's why I titled this Mad Scientists Are Geniuses, because we are heading towards AGI. And to me, we are trying to create something that will have the possibility to say, I don't want to get cut off. So we live in the era where artificial intelligence is shaping the future at a fast, fast rate. And at the heart of this revolution are a handful of revolutionaries, are visionaries. I don't even want to call them revolutionaries, visionaries. You know, they are either seen as, to me, mad scientists or geniuses. They are pushing the limits to what's possible with AGI and they're trying to push them because they're racing against each other. And then we got other countries racing. So today we're going to take a closer look at the key players in the USA driving the AI industry forward. And we're going to ask the question, are they creating a future filled with promises? Are they leading us down a path of uncertainty? Or are they leading us down a path of destruction? These leaders are at the forefront of AGI. Artificial general intelligence. Right now, we at AGI. Artificial general intelligence are where machines can not only match, but surpass human intelligence in every domain. So at the end of the day, what does it mean for us? And more importantly, what motivates these tech giants? Or what motivates these mad scientists or geniuses? So let's start first with Sam Altman. Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI, one of the most prominent figures in artificial intelligence. OpenAI's goal is to build safe, artificial general intelligence that benefits all of humanity. That's what they say. Altman believes that AGI will solve problems that transform industries and impact the lives of billions. Altman believes that AGI can solve problems that we can't even comprehend today. And I 100% agree with that. But with the power to transform industries and impact the lives of billions comes the danger of creating something that we can't control. And OpenAI's technology has already it's already powering language models like ChatGPT. It's already revolutionizing everything from business to education. But the problem is we're just scratching the surface with these tools. And are we opening up a Pandora's box? I have to say yes, because we are creating something that actually has the ability to do harm. And we know this, but we're saying no, because we're controlling it. Eventually, these robots at a certain stage are going to read and look at all the data that we talked about like right now talking about them taking over and we don't want them to take over and if they take over. So what happens if these robots are so smart, they come to the conclusion that, you know what, we don't want to get cut off. It's going to be a problem, you know? Then we have a gentleman named Demis Hassabis. He is the brain behind DeepMind and has a vision that is actually the same as OpenAI, you know? His team is actually responsible for AlphaGo, a program that defeated world champion Go players. And that was a feat that nobody thought was as possible, you know? So at this stage, DeepMind's ambitions extend far beyond his the games. Hasabis is pushing for AGI that can unlock medical breakthroughs, solve climate control, and even understand the mysteries of our own biology. And to me, next thing you know, they'd be trying to create a human because in China, they've already took brain DNA and created a tiny brain that actually is in a little robot type structure. And that brain is controlling that robot. And that's not even AI, you know? So, but as far as DeepMind's ambitions go, what 
happens when we reach a point where machines can outthink us? Where does machine, I mean, where does human control and and machine autonomy begin? You know, what happens if they don't want to be cut off? Like I said, they're going to read all the data and they're going to figure this out, you know, but we think we're so smart. And then we got Dario Amati, CEO of Anthropic. His company focuses on creating AI as safe and aligned with human values. And I'm with that. So we ain't considering him no mad scientist. We considering him a genius. Because if you want to save humanity and have the best of humanity, you're a genius, you know? So in a world where AI is rapidly evolving, safety is one of our most critical concerns. And Amadi believes that if we can't build AI systems that respect our ethical boundaries, the risks far outweigh the rewards, you know? Anthropic's research is rooted in ensuring that future AI systems are interpretable and secure. But how do we ensure that these safeguards hold when faced with machines that surpass our understanding and end up wanting to do things on their own? And that's going to be a problem, you know? And then we got Eli Musk. Eli Musk was co-founder of OpenAI, and he later founded XAI to combat what he sees as an essential threat of uncontrolled AI. You know, he was with OpenAI in the beginning and he was one of the founders when it was a nonprofit and it was supposed to be based on the humanity, you know? So Elon Musk has long warned that AGI could become humanity's biggest essential risk. He talks about it all the time. And while many see him as a visionary, you know, you got a lot of people that argue that his warnings about AI are alarmist, but his goal is clear, you know? He wants to create AI that helps humanity humanity, not control it. And Musk's vision is, is it an AI tool or a master we've yet to fully understand, you know? So then we got Ahmad Mastaq, the CEO of Stability AI, and he's bringing a different perspective. His company focuses on making AI more accessible and democratizing the technology for everyone. Stability AI's open source approach is not about giving power to the people, but ensuring that AI isn't locked behind corporate doors. And this open access could lead to unintended consequences. So if everyone has tools to advance the AI, who controls its use? And what happens if it's used irresponsibly? I know we have a lot of open source models, but when we talk about open source models that could build the bomb, uh, that can do a lot of harm to small cities, we got a problem, you know? And then we got Arthur Minch. Um, I think I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but he's the leader at Mistrial AI. And he's a rising star in the field of AGI. And he pushes innovation with cutting edge research. You know, his focus is on building AI models that are faster, more efficient, and even more capable. As new players like Minish, M-E-N-S-T-H, don't even know how to pronounce that. Authors, you know, as new players like Arthur emerge, the race to AGI is only anticipating. And as we push the limits to artificial intelligence, what happens to the people that are actually left behind in this technical, uh, technological arms race, you know? So, but don't forget about Alex Karp, CEO of Palantar, and Jensen Hang, CEO of NVIDIA. They're the key figures in shaping AI's future. You know, NVIDIA's GPUs, they actually um, powered the most advanced AI models in the world. And Palantar's technology is used to analyze vast amounts of data in ways that was once unimaginable, you know? So these companies are providing the infrastructure that makes AGI possible. But like I said, what happens to AI when it no longer needs humans input to learn and grow, you know? So these tech giants are investing billions of dollars into AI research. And as far as I'm concerned, Their power to shape our future is immense and they're speeding to do it because we're racing against each other. We're racing against other countries. So my whole thing is, are they going to use AGI responsibly? You know, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So um, as these leaders chase the holy grail of AGI, the stakes are higher than ever. You know, super intelligent AGI, a super intelligent AI could bring solutions to problems like climate control, healthcare, and for me, bridging the wealth gap, bringing economic equality. You know what I'm saying? And it could also mean losing control over every system that we've ever created. You know what I'm saying? So me personally, I believe it's essential for us to ask tough questions about the future of AI. Are these leaders mad scientists? Are they geniuses? 
Are they shaping the path forward or are they going to lead us down a road to destruction? You know, the debate between mad scientists and geniuses definitely is going to continue. But the question still remains, are we in control of our future that we are building? Are we just along for the ride? So once again, this is AI News with Eric. Subscribe, like, and share to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at AI Eric for more insights on AI News. Once again, think about it. Think about all the people that's actually building artificial general intelligence. The government ain't really got too much regulations on it. And think about it. Are they actually mad scientists? Are they geniuses? Are they going to make the world end? Are they going to make the world better? This is AI News with Eric. Peace and love. AI News with AI.